Hi, welcome to this second step of devising content strategy for your website. In this tutorial, we will see the use of some easy logical ways to find your keywords with free tools provided by Google. The word logical is important and we will soon see why. There are four aspects you need to know before you start searching for your keywords. You need to have a good idea about the topic of your content. As I have explained in the first lesson, knowing your knowledge, your passion and ability for long haul are the three determinants for identifying your content. You need to decide the main thrust of your website. Will it be an informational destination or a place to sell products or both? The nature of keywords will vary a lot depending on this decision. You need an open mind about keyword findings. You may be surprised to see that the keywords you like are not what people often use to find information on the web. On the contrary, keywords you don't like may be more popular than you imagined. Be aware that for the same type of products, the keywords may vary a great deal over time, season of the year and country. Now that we are ready, let's say you want your content to be on teaching jewelry designing and you want to sell a jewelry designing course in your website. You want your website to be both informational, a blog maybe, and selling a training course. In the first step, we start our search for just the word jewelry and then proceed for finer search. We begin with Google's Wonder Wheel. Wonder Wheel is almost the same as related searches, but it is shown pictorially and so easy to understand. Ok, here we see 8 terms related to jewellery. Since my target is to start a teaching course on jewellery designing, I therefore select the two terms from the 8, handmade jewellery and jewellery designers. Let me now go over to Google Insights to dig out more information about the keywords. Here as you can see, handmade jewellery is more popular than jewellery designers. Remember. Both Wonder Wheel and Google Insights give you a trend and not absolute figures. Let me scroll down the page. The terms are more popular in the US, Canada and the UK. Still scrolling below, coming to top searches, I can see there are at least two other terms, designer jewelry and jewelry design, that are searched more than the term jewelry designers. So let me include them in the insights search above and see what comes out of it. Wow, could you imagine? Both the new terms are more popular than the earlier two and jewelry design is much ahead of the other three. Let me go back to Wonder Wheel again and this time I will search for the term jewelry design. Now I get all the popular terms for my targeted website. Here, except for jewelry design software, almost all the terms are relevant to my need. If you carefully notice the keywords, you will agree that all of them are related to spending money to buy something, which is what I want. Let me pick up four of them and add one of my own, design your own jewelry. Let me head to Google Insights once again and see what it reveals for my new keywords. As you can see, design your own jewellery, jewellery design ideas and jewellery design school are the three most popular among the five. Ok, we know the trends, but now it is time to get some absolute figures. We will use Google's AdWords keyword tool for the purpose. I will take five keywords for this exercise, two from the last group and three from the earlier ones. You can select any term you feel like for your need when you do your exercise. 
the adverse keyword tool reveals an interesting story. The general keywords like jewelry design, designer jewelry, and handmade jewelry have large monthly searches. But the buying specific keywords, design your own jewelry, and jewelry design ideas have quite low monthly searches. Also, the competition for placing ads for the general keywords is less than the buying specific keywords. This is usually the trend, so there is no reason to get alarmed. However, do not bother to consider keywords that have less than 1000 monthly searches. In the AdWords tool, we found the demand side of the keywords. Let's now get some idea about the supply side of those keywords. To get these figures, we will do general, exact and all in title searches for these keywords. For example, for the term design your jewelry, there are 152 million pages in the search results. But when I search for the exact term and all in title search, the pages in search results come to 93,000 and 28,400 respectively. The all in title search is important because it reveals how many pages have the keywords in the page title, which is an important parameter to rank well in search results. This tutorial gives you some indications of how to do your keyword research with free tools. You have to spend some time to dig out more information about your keywords that relate to some kind of buying. At the same time, keep notes of keywords that may not relate to buying, but you want them nevertheless to build up contents in your website. Finally, there are a good number of paid keyword tools in the market, like WordStream, Word Tracker, Keyword Discovery, and some advanced ones like SEM Rush, Raven SEO Tools, SEO Clarity, and others which you may consider trying. This tutorial ends now. In the next step, we will look at finding an ideal domain name for your website. Thank you for watching.